Fed now launches new system and the Fed now the end of financial freedom. Dave Ramsey, is this it? Fed now a tool for controlling Americans? Fed launches instant payment service Fed now. Fed now is here. We're closer to a world currency now that Fed now is here. The Fed's digital dollar idea has frightening implications for privacy, according to Forbes reports. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. My name is Kevin, K E V I N in all caps, youtube.com forward slash at Kevin 24 7. Make sure you do me a favor, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check out the free links in the description down below and pay attention to what I have to share with you. Fed now, according to some, is the beginning of a central bank digital currency, a government controlled CBDC that faces some pushback and opposition from states like Texas and Florida, but is being not only pushed by legislation on both sides of the aisle in Congress, but more so on the left and also receiving international attention from BRICS nations, too. I mean, can you imagine a world where not only are you controlled physically and forced to inject strange pharmaceuticals into your body or else you will be unable to leave the country or even just go to work. But on top of that, they are scanning palms and marking folks to further control and add monitoring and censorship to our daily lives. Not to mention elected government officials are voting right now to allow more bills like these to be passed. A bill that in Illinois allows non-citizens to become police officers, migrants, transplants, refugees, illegals, immigrants, aliens, all handed guns, assault rifles, and a do anything you want and get away with it badge with the sole focus and intent to keep us in line and in check. As usual, the far right is proposing or putting out their false information. Uh, they're saying that we're allowing illegal, illegal, uh, immigrants is the word that they would use. Uh, you know, undocumented immigrants are not allowed to become police officers in the state of Illinois still. Um, what we have allowed is legal permanent residents and DACA recipients now to become police officers. So we have the ability for people who are legally in this country um, and again, permanent residents or DACA recipients now to apply for jobs as police officers. But I am tired of the right wing twisting these things. They put it out on f Facebook. They tell lies. Uh, they attack based upon those lies. They're perpetuating lies. So there are people out there that think that we're just allowing anybody to become a police officer. That's just not accurate. Two other states already have provided this. We have a U.S. military that has 35,000 uh, immigrants who are not U.S. citizens who are serving in the U.S. military today. 8,000 more sign up every year. We allow that in our U.S. military. Uh, we allow it in a couple of other states, and more states are adding on to this list of states that are allowing legal permanent residents. So I'm proud that we are doing this. I think it's the right thing to do. It's also good for our police departments. And oh, by the way, the Fraternal Order of Police has supported it. Now, I think what he meant to say was yet. And the key word left out there was yet. But what makes it even more shocking and alarming and downright worrisome is not only this warning of what is happening and how our armed forces and military will soon no longer be red blooded Americans, but even more so is what I noticed when I was watching the clip. Because I can promise you, I did not make any changes or tweaks or edits to the clip that you guys just watched. But it seems as though someone may have before uploading it to this Chicago News website. Did they cut out any information that Pritzker may have leaked that they didn't want to get out to the public? I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, even the former Chicago mayoral candidate Willie Wilson also opposed the bill, arguing that, and I quote, defies common sense that non-citizens should be arresting and detaining legal citizens, end quote. But instead, they will try and do what they always do and shift blame on the conservative bunch who are literally just trying to uphold the common sense core values and traditions that once made this country great. I mean, come on, really. Who goes to Facebook when they want to get a message of the truth out? It's owned, operated, and seemingly controlled by the left. I mean, if I had a nickel for every time somebody told me that Facebook wouldn't let them post something that went against their agenda, I would I'd be a very wealthy man. Let's leave it at that. Notice how he didn't mention Twitter either. 
which is seemingly one of the only platforms that truly allows free speech. And I've been paying attention and listening to what you all have had to say on previous videos. And I really wanna thank you for your continued support, all the likes and new subscribers. I really do appreciate you. Thank you, thanks for that. Some of you have left comments and I'm gonna put them on the screen right now so you can see them. I don't think this is a warning, it's a threat. It's what they are planning. The people that put this out are the ones you have to fear. I'm sick of them trying to turn races on each other. I love all people. They want us in constant fear. No doubt they are planning something. And yes, everyone stay alert. Love each other and stay in your joy. Lots of emojis. I'm more concerned about the what the feds will orchestrate than I am about anything radical groups might do. Everyone in the USA needs to stand together and protect our borders from certain people who are causing problems. Notice borders was spelled with an A. The people need to unite and do exactly what the Constitution says in, is our duty. It's the people's duty to remove a tyrannical and unconstitutional president and government using the Second Amendment exactly what it was written for. <laughs> this seems to happen every four years during the voting season. We can only pray. Praying hands emoji. We are still in captivity in this unrighteous America. I take what the government says with only a, only a grain of salt. They issue their side, their agenda, meaning their perspective on things is just that their perspective, not mine. I no longer trust my Uncle Sam. I'm sick of these psychopaths. That's why I don't live in or near any city. Big cities always mean trouble. Go live where you can grow your own food and live off the land. Your safety is in your own hands. Praying for everyone. We're all in this mess together. Love you all. Red heart emoji. It seems like it's planned already. Everyone needs to stay vigilant no matter where they are. There have been way too many mass shootings by young men who have mental issues, mental health issues. Young men who have been bullied, have no father in the home and are angry because they do not feel heard. So they resort to unacceptable ways of being heard. When this happens, it greatly saddens my heart. Violence is never acceptable. It should never be someone's solution to an issue. So if you hear something or see something, say something to the proper authorities. In doing so, you may have saved someone's life. Don't feel like you're tattling on someone or getting someone in trouble. Let the proper authorities sort it out. I feel like in many of these mass shootings, could be have been prevented if someone had said something. People knew something or were aware someone might be a threat, but didn't act, didn't do anything. Be vigilant, stay alert to your surroundings, and remember, if you see or hear anything, say something. Stay safe and stay blessed. I'm so glad your video popped up in my feed. I've always been security alert and informed, but thank you for the reminder because it's coming. This country, world, and humanity as a whole can no longer continue to keep going like this. Something has got to give. I had a vivid dream over 30 years ago that this country was going into a civil war. I didn't think I would live long enough to see it, but I often worried about the generation or two after me. Now, it appears as the ripe old age of 57, lol, I just might live directly in it. And you're right. YouTube screens every video on their site. So your video apparently slipped through the algorithm, but it was just meant to be seen. However, it may soon disappear off the site. Shaking my head or SMH. That's what the kids say. Thank you for keeping it real for us. Prayers and blessings for you and your family. Lots of emojis. We the people need to take back our government from the government. But on top of the jabs and on top of the palm and retina scans and on top of the trackers that they want to put in our children, now they want to introduce a new regime of renegade and foreign controls as police officers. Possibly because they have defunded the police so much here recently that the only folks that they can get to take the job for the meager pay and life-threatening risks are those who don't have to actually pay taxes and possibly the same ones bringing in most of the illegal drugs and narcotics found today, killing so many on the streets around the clock in cities like Philadelphia along Kensington Avenue. But I digress because the final nail in the coffin is in fact the financial and economic fiduciary control they will soon impose to further inflict pain, panic, stress, anxiety, and fear amongst us all. 
Buckle up, folks, and get ready to grab your pitchforks because we are going to have to get ready really soon. But don't be so easily fooled. They want you to believe them and let your guard down. I mean, you remember this one, right? Here, take a look at the screen. We just are getting some breaking news. We've got a live shot there of President-elect Joe Biden getting his COVID-19 vaccine. He and incoming First Lady Dr. Jill Biden both doing this publicly, receiving their doses, their first doses of the in Delaware, following in the footsteps of Vice President Mike Pence and the second lady who we also saw as, as the death toll, Kayla, and this disease nears 300,000 mm -hmm. people in the United States. This is going to be a big part of his administration's task, which is distributing hundreds of millions of shots in the early part of his administration. And, and we're just watching here the live shot. Obviously, they're doing this in a sign of confidence and, and in a show that right. this is safe and to listen to the experts and the scientists as some people are skeptical. And to that end, Sarah, the, the president-elect had said that he would get the vaccine uh, whenever Dr. Anthony Fauci, who he has appointed as his chief medical advisor, recommended that he do so. And shortly after he suggested that, Dr. Fauci said that it was in President-elect Biden's interest and the interest of the country from a national uh, security and continuity of government perspective for him to get it as soon as it was possible and as soon as it was available to him. You have also seen leadership on Capitol Hill in both parties receiving the and being very uh, public about having gotten the trying to show that uh, this is not something as polls indicate is something that one party would support and sure. another party would not support trying to say this is something that every American should get as soon as it is available. Now, do you honestly expect me to believe this really happened or this wasn't just some placebo or a hoax or hell, maybe even a clone or body double or actor? I don't buy it. Do you? But they're playing the same tricks again, like this one here. Check this out. Fed now could make your paycheck clear faster, knowing that 99% of Americans living paycheck to paycheck would love for that to happen. Or how about this one? Fed now lets you send money in seconds. All right, that one may not be so great after all. I think they're referring to getting you to pay your bills faster so that they can get more of your money or more of their money out of your account faster and literally in seconds. So no more floating checks and buying a few days time, okay? All right, let me just put it to you like this. Lynette Zhang and ITM Trading shared FedNow scheme exposed, shifting your bank accounts to FedNow without your knowledge. So I guess the main question that I like to ask you all and know all your answers to is the Fed, the central bank, the current administration, the liberal, super woke, crazy progressive left, all those who want to take all you have and then some and see you starve, homeless and completely wiped out. Do you trust them? Do you trust what they say? Do you trust the paid and hired actors that they get to show face on these liberal, biased, left-leaning, mainstream media networks that want you to hand over your life savings and future paychecks to their soon-to-be CBDC system that is just getting warmed up with the recent launch of FedNow? Well, do you?